Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutsarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and uh, Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading for February 25th to February up to March 3rd, excuse me, 2019 and so I'm going to use the traditional Reader White Tarot deck here uh, which is the Radiant version of it and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign and for that reason as a general reading it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different extent and level with every single different Scorpio so the reading can manifest in a different field for every single uh, one of you. Uh, if you want more personal flavor, more personal touch into your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards that is a subject of a personal reading and uh, for such you can go and check out my website for all of the services and as well their, uh, their pricing that I am uh, I'm offering. And if you go for that, uh, don't forget that uh, till the end of February, which is literally three days from now, uh, all of the services are with a uh, reduced uh, costs. So to make myself uh, more accessible for the people in need and especially for the people in a financial struggle. So that being said, let me cut the cards now and let's see what we got. So the first one, um, which is the topic of our week, of our Scorpio week, this is going to be the Four of uh, Swords, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach to all the situation, all the things that we should not do throughout the week, that is to be the uh, Knight of Swords. Third card that we do have, uh, that is the positive approach to all the situation, all the things that you, we should do here, that is uh, the Six of Pentacles. And the last one which we do have, uh, this is going to be the uh, outcome of growth by the end of the week. Should we follow here the guidance of Tarot, we have the Nine of Swords. All right, so once again, Four of Swords, Knight of Swords, then it is the Six of Pentacles, and the last one that is the Nine of Swords. So quite a lot of swords is what we do have and the swords are related to our thinking, the logic. So not an emotional week at all. As a matter of fact, this is going to be a, a very calming and peaceful week, to be honest. A, a week where uh, we will have to or we should, that is going to be, again, the best possible approach to the situation, we should carefully build up our strategies for the future and for future projects, for future relationships as well, instead of being frantic about it and just jump into it straight away. Now, this is the flavor of uh, and the overview of the reading itself, but let's indulge deeper into the uh, tarot cards. So, the first card that we do have that is the very topic of the week how the week is going to go so basically uh, we are going to be granted a, a time of uh, of rest whatever issues we do experience until this very moment and god thank thanks for that car it is just it was it was really atrocious the last couple of days i had it is simply nothing worked at all but um with the Four of uh, Swords, it seems that many issues that we have and many, many troubles and many worries as well, things that we are feeling anxious to, are going to go on. They, they will simply are not going to take place throughout the week. And this is going to give us a, a time to catch up our breath, to meditate upon ourselves, to heal as well. But what, how best we can use that time is by... Um, rethinking our strategies as well all right uh the four of swords it is very potent for us uh, spending time with someone who is um who is rather objective for our uh for our situations but yet is a, a very faithful companion so that is a person who is going to give us a, a very sound advices about how we can approach the current things or endeavors which are awaiting for us just around the corner or how we can resolve issues from the recent past just like i said 
problems are going to vanish but just for that week all right because the four of swords does not mean resolution it's just those problems are gonna leave you unaffected for now and you need to use that week scorpio to find a resolution for yourself how to basically overcome those issues and that very well could happen by you spending time with that faithful companion of yours which could give you a a very good it's not just only advice but together uh, you are going to reach to the very core of the situation why things are going that way that is in case of course you do have issues because i assume that there are scorpios who have no issue overall and if that's your case and everything is going perfect for you you know then the four of swords points that this is going to be quite of a calming and uh relaxing week in which uh, basically you can recuperate and uh, restore vital energies as well now it's a very also potent card for those who are very baffled in what emotions they are feeling just to give you an example you do have a person that you are uh, kind of like interacting with we're not talking about dating right now just interacting and you don't know you have those mixed emotions you know you don't know actually what you feel yeah you like that person for example but it's it's just it's not enough well in this week once again when we do have the four of swords it will be best that you kind of give yourself a break from that uh, enterprise and just leave your mind to fly if i may express it that way and at the end of the week and even sooner than that you will be pretty aware or kind of like you will be resigned about a kind of an emotions you are feeling toward that guy or toward that woman that's in case your situation and also a potent card for marriages and married couples especially with problems now if that's your case you do have a problem in your marriage or in relationship for that matter this card calls for you to seek a professional help in a sense of couples uh, therapists you know or uh, simply a, a mutual friend of yours who can uh, kind of tells you how it looks like from a side and from there you make your notes you know and and try to work out the thing from that perspective so it's it's a week where a lot of issues of yours are going to be resolved should you rely however on the peace that you are going to have the humbleness as well the resignation and it, also it's important when we do have the four of uh, swords to rely on meditation and contemplation as well upon what you what you want for yourself in general uh, the next the card next to it or the accompanied card here we're definitely talking about a companion with the two of uh, cups what these cards are forming are active neutrals so basically once again the two of cups which flavor it adds to the four of swords is that this person is going to be emotionally detached from your situation not from you from the situation itself therefore the person that you spend time with the faithful companion giving you advices they will simply gonna tell you the truth and uh, by the way having that uh, it does look it does look like as a very very good friend of yours because uh, it will benefit you a lot if you simply lay out everything that you have in you i mean poignant experiences happy experiences as well because with the two of cups especially when it's uh, synergized with the four of swords uh the uh, the the shared pain is basically how i mean that person is gonna reassure you and is gonna take away some of your emotional pain same thing goes for the happiness but this time is gonna be double the happiness because that person is going to uh, be happy for you they are going to encourage you and so on and so forth so uh once again it uh, it looks like that this is going to be a week scorpio where you are through peace and through um fruitful conversations uh, will be able to find a resolution to a lot a lot of your issues which once again are going to leave you unaffected throughout this week february 25th to march 3rd 2019 so uh the card the negative card in the spread which is the knight of swords or how you should not act upon the situation so knight of swords is about um being pushy bruisey and as well you know just jump into action very um tenacious 
person courageous as well and the courage is a virtue yes but the courage needs to be capitalized on or utilized should they say in the right moment and uh, when we do have the uh, knight of swords into that position that, then it means that you need to hold down your horses and you should not make irrational decisions or rather premature decisions for the situation itself as we said with the first card that we grants you a, a time to rest and truly think deeply of what kind of an actions you should take from now on or simply how to position yourself it will be different for every single one of you so um when you have a hunch or for example when you reach a conclusion throughout the week for regard regardless of what kind of a uh, subject that is to be it will be best if you kind of allow it to um to cultivate I don't know if that is the right expression. I don't know the English word for it. Uh, it's kind of like when you brew an alcohol, you you leave it to cultivate, you know, to basically to become better. So yeah, this is what you need to do in order to overcome the Knights of Swords here. Uh, when you reach a conclusion for your relationship or for your career or for a friendship, regardless, it will be best to leave it that way and not act upon it for a couple of days at least so throughout these couple of days you can truly analyze is that decision of yours or a conclusion of yours does correspond with your emotions because that is very very important as well so yeah the week is going to be more logically oriented but that logic also needs to be um kind of synergized with the emotions so you should not decide in the favor of what you are going to regret further and what you are going what you don't like to do as well regardless of the end result uh, and that is further once again supported by the two of cups out there uh, because well simply um, with the knight of swords as into that position i uh, basically shows that you can do stupid things when you push and when you are premature and your decisions are not really synergized with, with your emotions because just to, to give you an example here uh, let's say that you do have problems with uh, with your husband or with your wife it doesn't matter and these problems are arising now into the uh, day of uh, uh, um, the Sunday in the previous week, 24th, and your immediate emotion and your immediate conclusion is to retaliate, right? To make retribution and so on and so forth. But if you don't act on it and you wait a couple of days, you are going to see that your emotions are shifting and it is likely that you are going to reach to a, a different conclusion that retribution is not really the answer because aggression will create only additional aggression. So it will be best here to just, you know, think like two times or maybe three times before you actually make a, a decision. Now, the Hierophant, uh, the, the Hermit, excuse me, comes as a uh, catalyst here. So what these cards are forming are active enemies. So the more, so the Hierophant completely negate the hermit excuse me completely negates the ace uh, the uh, knights of uh, the knight of swords you don't have a choice so you do have a choice but you can't have both and in that case if you focus on the substantial things for you or in this case is your relationship important for you and if it is then how are you ready to go for it and uh, basically also you need to approach the matter with a high amount of intelligence high amounts of wisdom as well and uh, simply you should not do stupid things is basically what these cards are uh, basically what these cards are pointing you know kind of like impulsive actions okay well god uh, for five minutes i was searching for that word or for that expression yeah should you should not be impulsive when it comes to deciding a future of something throughout this week but rather before that consult yourself with someone who is more detached or completely detached from the situation uh, itself now finally as uh, you already accomplished that uh, let's see what uh, you should do next i mean that will be the positive approach toward the situation 
six of pentacles well six of pentacles strongly strongly suggests that you use the time of peace contemplation and meditation to find a resolution to all the issues basically that's that i mean with the six of uh, pentacles you ain't gonna find a better time to do so because now you will have the help of this faithful companion and the um, the favor of the environment and of the time now throughout this week because that is the six of pentacles throughout this week it is unlikely that you are going to find the ultimate resolution but it's going to be a start all right the very least what you are going to uh, achieve its extension of inevitable doom and gloom for example breakup or, or loss of a job and so on and so forth the six of pentacles as well asks you to honor the hierarchy so do not trespass foreign boundaries for example uh, if we go with the family situation here your wife has a certain boundaries you should not trespass your boundaries you should allow your wife to do her responsibilities and you should do yours as well so the hierarchy needs to stay in place and in check same goes career wise you know if you need to do if you need to kind of like go to your um well basically what i'm trying to say for the for the career is that you need to follow the chain here if you have something to say you should say it to your supervisor who you, who should say it to your boss who should say it to the owner to the owner of the company do not kind of like um traverse steps or surpass steps in the chain of the hierarchy wherever you are basically know your place this is what i'm trying to say with the six of pentacles additionally it will um benefit you a lot if with the new form strategies that you are going to create throughout the week incorporate some sort of a creativity some sort of a self-expression or all, all, all right your own personal flavor of uh, how things should be tackled like your signature in there that will be a, a very very productive thing now don't be discouraged is if it is not approved straight away everything comes with time because the six of pentacles is also about the flaw it's also about the current and uh, you just have to go with the current you submit your application you submit your suggestion and you wait for it to either be approved or disapproved or you just wait for the procedure to be uh, accomplished so and the accompanied card here this is going to be the moon card which is the um the catalyst of the six of pentacles so uh literally what these cards are pointing that everything has its reasons to happen in this uh, in this specific week and you definitely need to go with the current when it comes to these these two into a, a combination it's likely that uh, as soon as you start resolving the issues you may not see immediate results and that may uh, make you feel Scorpio a bit uh, insecure of your approach and uh, insecure as well of your position in general but these two cards are telling that you should not abandon your goal and you should not abandon um, your determination as well when you are determined to do something all right uh, it's simply it's gonna happen a little bit further into the future because right now with the appearance of the moon card here it points that the environment is not set up yet so there are still things which does not depend on you yet to happen so the results of your labor or the results of your new strategies can uh, manifest or can take shape and if we are following once again the example of uh, of the marriage couple um even if this you know you don't retaliate to your wife or to your husband and yet throughout the week things are not improving very much they will it is just it needs time this is what these couple of cards are saying especially with the six of pentacles there as the six of pentacles is a very strong card saying that uh certain actions may not contribute to full extent to solve problems but they may give but they the very least are gonna give extension and throughout that extension you can find even a better way to tackle with your things but the, the grand scheme of uh, the grand scheme of all that of, of this reading is that you should take it easy Scorpios and uh, 
basically uh, uh, analytic approach simply reveals the way out of uh, out of difficulties so uh no need to rush guys no need to rush anything no relationship not even in a career as well and be more um be more humble as well i don't know if i'm using the word in the in the right place here but simply if something isn't working out for you don't stress about it i the time it's gonna come to work out it's simply now it's not the time with the appearance of the moon card as a catalyst next to the six of pentacles simply the current haven't reached there yet but it will it's just you have to be more patient about it so what happens at the end should you follow all these or, or should you follow the guidance of um of tarot well nine of swords basically at the end of the week you're going to recognize that all of your worries all of your anxieties that you had upon the past issues or on the current situations are simply in vain this is gonna make you be much much more responsible god i need that because i'm not very responsible you know but anyway much more responsible you will start recognizing the consequences of your action into their full extent and that will somewhat make you way more calculative not to mention that with this card it is likely that you are going to regain the balance in between you and your and the person that stays higher into the chain of the hierarchy as you are going to show that you honor the hierarchy here so no more bruising from your boss no more um you know kind of like inappropriate behavior and so on and so forth either from your boss or either from your uh from your partner in relationship or a husband or a wife and with the nine of swords as well uh, it is very likely that the fears of that something is going to break either relationship or either you're going to be fired are going to be eased so you will see that these fears as well were in vain that is due to the fact that you are getting back in track with the current and the accompanied card that is to be the uh, two of pentacles and as we said as responsibilities with uh, the nine of swords we have a, an active enemies here and the flavor of the two of pentacles points that from now on you should basically go along with your plan all right or with the strategy that it is created not just necessarily yours but let's say you're working for a company you should go along with the strategy that the company has okay or if you are in a relationship you should go along with the strategy that the relationship has but the very least with these cards at least for the near future you should take one thing at the time <clears throat> so you can do it right because uh, we have a sentence here in our country that if you can do many things probably you cannot do anything right you know it's just you need to focus yourself just on one thing get it right and then focus on something else so if right now you're afraid about your relationship focus on your relationship contemplate about it go seek professional help like i said if you need to consult yourself about it just sort it out and then move to the next one which could be your career, a certain friendship, or so on and so forth. It is simply, it will require from you complete devotion into one particular fulcrum instead of being scattered all around of your life, <clears throat> life environment. So that being said, Scorpio, this was uh, your weekly tarot reading for February 25th to March 3rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, that was a general reading for Scorpio star sign. And for that reason, uh, it's going to resonate in a different way, in a different field and in a different level for every single different uh, Scorpio. <laughs> But if you want more personal touch, like your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot, uh, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for a personal reading, you can go to my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a list of my services as well as their pricing. And if you decide to do so, don't forget that till the end of February, all of the prices of my services are massively reduced for reason being to make myself more accessible for the people in struggle and especially if that is a financial struggle rat signing out now see you next time bye